Hello, and welcome back to Daddy's Bingo. I'm Gita Jackson, and I am joined by a man currently sitting down. <laughs> welcome back. Um, <laughs> as you're all going to hear, should you watch my um, should you watch my tips video? I have a cold. Not really a cold. I don't think it's a cold. But this is what my voice sounds like when my throat hurts. <laughs> you and need some tea, guys. Yeah, I've got some tea. My throat hurts really bad. My chest hurts. I got some sort of... I don't know if it's like the dry weather. So, I just got to say, it's really, really hard for me to order a pizza or go to a restaurant when I have like a sore throat because then people will ask you know nobody nobody taking cash out of my hand can do so while I'm talking with this voice no, they've just, and think I'm not making fun of them yeah that's absolutely 100% true and it's like thinking I'm role playing some defamiliarized medieval king but yeah this is just what it sounds like I'm sorry <laughs> All right, so what we're going to be doing today, um, I've beaten the game already. I reviewed it, so this is by copy, and I beat you it. You beat the trash out of it. I beat the trash out of it, man. There's no more trash in this game. Uh, we're going to play some co-op. We're also going to look out for these master trainers. So after you beat the game, uh, all over the map, there will be trainers who are specialized in a certain particular kind of uh, Pokemon, and uh, your job is to defeat them as well. Uh, Reggie told my boss, Steven that this is the the post game content is for experienced players of pokemon so i might get wrecked on the stream i don't know the game was pretty easy so we've got some people in the chat asking about mew you get it if you buy the pokeball plus yeah mew is not a we were we were talking right before the stream started we were saying uh is uh is Mew going to be a spoiler? Or are people going to be upset that they're seeing Mew? and then it's like well no right you just buy you it. just you get mew for free, quote unquote free, if you pay fifty dollars for that Pokeball Plus controller. So, Pikachu does not say profane words in this game. No. Pika Pika heck. <laughs> <laughs> so if I shake this controller that is in my hand right now, I will appear as an alternate trainer. Yes, you will. That's weird. Do you want to do it? That's strange, bro. Can I have my own partner? What? It's so cute, isn't it? Yeah, hold on. Look at my little bag. I know. Look at the little bag. It's so cute. I don't really get those sling bags, those cross shoulder bags. I don't know. They just end up hurting one of your shoulders really bad. Yeah, you end up like, and you end up like walking like, like, like. Well, I was gonna say like Igor, Doctor Frankenstein's assistant, but he doesn't actually have an assistant named Igor no. in the book. It's a t entirely a creation of the films. So I started out in Pallet Town because I was just like, let's so and find the uh, the trainers from the beginning. Did I, uh... Now you disappeared. You gotta shake again to reappear. Have I de -ma I did shake again. Have I demanifested? Did you just, like, walk away from me? So I have... I have do I have any agency at all? Um, outside of battle? If we battle, you'll be able to... Can we catch one of these, these filthy rats? Let's catch a filthy rat. Can we name it filthy? Yes, we can. Whoa! Okay, so I'm only allowed to use regular balls. Well, no, I'm probably not, but I'm okay. gonna use regular balls. Oh my god, what? Whoa! Is that like? Whoa! Wow, he's inside two balls. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we we did that rat a bad solid. Dice game Uchiha. Yeah. Uh, you don't need two switches and two copies of the game to play co-op. You can just play it yeah. with one copy of the game. Synchronized uh, bonus. I know what I'm doing tonight, <laughs> which is playing this game with two Joy Cons and two hands. <laughs> That sounds awesome. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be whipping the coach tonight, if you know what I mean. You know, like you know, like you're whipping a horse coach with the two whips. I'm gonna be doing that. <laughs> with I think my you re-manifest if I just get far enough away from you. Yeah, you just have yeah. to shake it again. I de-manifest and then I re-manifest. Oh my God, Mew has found something. So it's hard to talk to her though, because you have to get so close. Mew found a dead body. Mew found the bones of a Pidgeotto. I got a raspberry. I'm I like, not going to need that. I like raspberries. Me too. I mean, I like the ones that are spelled with an S. 
Not the cartoon ones. All right, got Viridian City. A very virile city. Have not yet seen a master trainer. We gotta find those punks and then we gotta oh, jump. Oh, nope, them. here's one. Can we turn this master trainer into a chump? Oh, don't forget to put your Oddish in the top left position. Oh, I need an Oddish. Okay, hang on. I think I, I don't have one, actually. So let's go find a Pokemon I have and train it and uh, attack a master. Romeo is enjoying a look at the flowers. My my uh, my catatonic, my lobotomized trainer is just standing, staring off into space. Keeping up with the edge of the screen is kind of fun. Look at the bottoms of the shoes are red. Oh, that is so cool. I'm wearing the Team Rocket shoes. That's a Firo guy. Yeah, we don't need a Firo. Yeah. Is it just me or does my thumb keep sliding off of this analog stick? Oh, that happened to me a lot too. The Switch analog sticks are uh, in exchange for their being very small. I love how you just drop from the sky. Am I just going to keep corkscrewing through the ceiling uh, every time we enter a new zone? I think so. That's weird. So. It's just, it, it's almost like they intend this uh, second player function to be like your your, chi your your children's, right? And why don't I just catch one of these Caterpies and then we'll, we'll... Or your even more casual friends than yourself. So it's like, all right, I'm going to do it. Ready? Oh, you did it. Is that me? Yeah, that was just you. Why did it go out of the left side and not the right side? I don't know. God dang it. You caught a Weedle. Oh, it's a Weedle, not a Caterpie. I'm sorry. I can't tell the difference between those two. I think I think that's the one place they done messed up. Because Pokemon, by and large, you can tell the difference between them and their very uh, iconic designs. But Weedle and Caterpie, I don't know. They're like basically the same. And they both turn into cocoons. Can you get a second? Do you have a second DV? Can you name it Babby? <laughs> um, I I don't have a second EV right now. You know what my party is right now? What? <laughs> you, you, you really, I'm not really, ready. You really don't sound excited. <laughs> I have a uh, Pikachu, Charmeleon, War Tortle, and Venusaur. I have all of those. That because uh, I was excited to get all the starters because I remember when Pokemon Yellow came out. I remember my little brother being like, "Dude, Pokemon Yellow is going to be the best because you can get all of the red and blue starter Pokemon." Is that Luffy from One Piece? <laughs> no, it's just a child. It's child Luffy. So I don't, I've never done any of the master trainer things before. So that's a level 65 Weedle. And so I can only use the level four Weedle I just caught. Okay. Oh, you'll so get owned. I'm going to die. Let's watch this idiot die like a fool. Give him some rare candies. Train him up. Yep, there we go. So it's just, maybe it's just me, but one on one one Weedle versus another does not really seem like exciting video gaming to me. Yeah, me neither. And it seems like if any, if most of the other uh, Master Trainer things follow this as a rule, kind of seems to me like the post-game content is all about you finding people who are like, oh, get one of these Pokemon, level it up, come back, and beat my Pokemon. Just like checklisting all of those. Is that what it is? Yeah, it does seem like that, which does not sound awesome. And let's go to a part of the mm. game where... Oh, my God, I just... Oh, I that's just Babby. Love, I just love it. I just love it, okay? So is it pronounced Baby or is it pronounced Babby? With two Bs, it's Babby. Oh, so with one B, it's not Babby? What if I'm really stupid? Could I pronounce it Babby? Yeah. Then you're allowed to pronounce it Babby. Yeah, hug that weird thing. I just want to pet it all Wait, the time. I, why can't they, why, they're not going to let me pet it? No, only I can pet it. I I am a, I'm basically a prisoner. I I can only I can only help you catch Pokemon. You can help me battle if you find someone I haven't fought yet. Maybe nice. one of those swimmers that I kept running into the other day. Oh, those swimmers. Yeah. Those guys are rubes. Oh yeah, give Babby a berry. Babby berries. Ew. Oh my god, I just love her. I just, it's, like, this is what the game is about, right? You just, if you've ever wanted to own a Pokemon, 
God. So it's one of just the, so delightful. One of the tips that we foresaw a need for was uh, which version should you get, Eevee or Pikachu? And the answer is that right there is what you get if you get the Eevee one. If you get Pikachu, you get a Pikachu up there. Which which one of them do you most want to hug? If you're going to ask for and look for a, a concrete mathematical breakdown of which Pokemon spawn where, right? Then I think maybe this is not the Pokemon game for you, right? And look, if you want an Eevee, you can get and you can catch an Eevee. And if you want a Pikachu, you can catch a Pikachu. I currently have a Pikachu in my party. But you can't hug him. Hang on, I gotta. You can't hug just. Oh, it looks like Baby has a present for you. It's a dead dog. Oh. <laughs> Baby, why? Um. But yeah, I mean, in the Eevee, you can't do that with just any Pokemon. Right? Unless yeah. there's some magical way that you unlock to do. You can only I can only hug my Pikachu. God. So, okay. So, in the original games, you had to teach your Pokemon moves like fly and cut. And that's how you would fly or cut things down. Um, in this one, your Pikachu just does all that. And yeah. it's really funny to me that she gets in this, like, flying machine. <laughs> With yeah. balloons in order to fly places, it's so hilarious. So that pretty much makes your. We were saying this earlier. Your your partner Pokemon is like a character, like an art, like a character in the, a story almost, because they appear in the cutscenes and you're always high fiving them when you beat gym leaders and whatnot, which I think is a really good animation. Oh, I should be in here. Oh, uh, let me get in here. Hold on, let's help this guy. There we go. Let's battle this guy. Dun, 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 dun. It's only got one man. Yeah, this guy came woefully unprepared for his day at the beach. Oh, look. Oh, this is perfect. Venusaur and Eevee. I'm gonna stomp this punk. Leave some for me. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you can also mega evolve if you wanted to. I'm gonna razor leaf him. We can mega evolve later. I think this thing's dead. <laughs> See, this is what I mean by the game being easy. You're gonna do that a lot. Baby landed a critical hit. <laughs> a Venusaur got some as well. What? <laughs> I love all the faces they make when they lose. Yeah, they all really take it like losers. The, the mega nerds cry. Yeah, they cry like crazy. What about this guy? Did I already fight this guy or not? I think we already... Yeah, okay. Let's get in the water. The water is moving. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you can... F oh, no, I just die. <laughs> I go, uh, see you later. There we go. I wish I could make my guy fall in the water and drown. True. <coughs> I bet, I bet I'm not going to be here. So Foxtown 421, um, I don't actually think the game is going to put you to sleep. There is enough in the game that I like that I feel like people should buy it. It's way less about battling than catching things. Um, and for that reason, I think that there's a, they managed to make the game exciting and interesting um, without having the focus be on battles. But yeah, I can yeah, this 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 stuff is uh not always the funnest. Yeah, you can turn the battle animations off as well, which yeah. I know that the pros love to do that because they just want the numbers. They don't want to they don't want to feel like they're living in in, in an anime. I actually really like the art in this game, I like the 3D art direction. I think it looks nice. It looks really beautiful. I love it. Yeah, the pros hate art. It says Diet Cherry Vanilla Dr. Mario. That is such a good username. That's a, there's a lot going on in there. That's what a, I say of your username, what the dentist said of my mouth. There's a lot going on in there. Planet Protector, Blue is part of the story and he does say smell you later. Yes, but he has such a nice facial expression when he says so that you would imagine he uh, just gifted you an expensive bottle of cologne. He's very polite about saying he's going to smell you later. 
Oh, that's a weird looking thing. It a, a looks cloister. like a vagina. Yeah, it. Uh, it so, looks kind of weird. This move is not going to be very effective, but it clears all status effects. So, oh, it was. Never mind. Uh, it, it killed it. It's not super effective, but it was super effective. <laughs> Yeah, so I actually played this game on the bus last night. Uh, by which I mean the train. I call the train a bus. Yeah. You ever do that? <laughs> Just to mess with people. I'm getting on the bus. They're like, a bus? Where are you? You know? Okay, let me get back to a place where you can play with me. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just up in the sky. I just love that he's on the... That, like, Eevee learned how to surf. Surfing Eevee. Surfing's hard. It is really hard. I went surfing a couple okay. months ago. And now I you can join me again. Just about broke my bonkers. So I actually uh, straight up skipped Cinnabar, this like underground route because uh, it was frustrating me. Potions. Oh yeah, there's like guys who give you free Pokeballs just out in the zone. Yeah, that's rad. The zone. Gotta heal up my baby. Handy Andy 58 says, When living in San Francisco, I often absentmindedly referred to the train as a bus. Yeah. I mean, I did it too, but it was only because I developed a funny joke. Which was to just always call trains buses. But yeah, I played this game on the bus yesterday. And... Uh... Let's catch this big boy. Yeah, this big old weird bat. Okay. Gold bat. So I had a good time playing it on the bus. I'm not even kidding. It looks like they went into his mouth. <laughs> Two, and give me that three, and give me that thing. Hell yeah! A gold at... God, that's so oh, that's much. That's not some bad exp. Yeah, it's some pretty good exp. Mew's gonna be on level 50 pretty soon. That's good. Yeah. Mew's really good. Oh, you, you can use fairy type moves as well as psychic type moves now. I don't like how I keep spiraling down like that. It's like it's just. It's just forcing me to acknowledge that I am. I am the prisoner. I'm not the real player. You gotta push it again. Huh? Yeah, I was trying to get to the Elite Four and I just like couldn't. Oh my god, let's catch this jinx. Yeah. Let's get her. So this is the part that I was like, okay, I understand why people want to play this game. That's red as heck. Uh, we're, we're not, not going to get it. That's, not going to it. work. No. It's hard for me to... Do, I'm going to do this left-handed. Okay. It's hard for me to do it. Uh, okay, wow, we got the ball perfectly combo. in sync. Ball combo. See, this is why we, we should have the green screen on today, but I guess we don't. Oh, well. Damn. It would have been chill. It's, like, actually really fun to catch Pokemon in this game. I used to find it to be such a hassle in other games because you have to battle everything on top of battling all the trainers, and you would just, like, not want to do it anymore. Human-shaped Pokemon. That's weird. Are you freaked out by human-shaped Pokemon? Yeah, I think it's weird. I really hope that in, like, the next generation, in some... I, I remember joking about this a long time ago, but uh, I would love it if there was just like a dude is a Pokemon at some point. There's like a Pokemon who's a pile of trash. There's a Pokemon who's an ice cream cone. There's a Pokemon who's a flying sword, right? We were talking about this yesterday. There's a Pokemon who's pretty much just a dog. Is that a Volteon? Jolteon. That's Volteon, let's face it. <laughs> okay, it's Jolteon. They should all have V. They should have the first letter V in their name all the time. Volteon, Vaporeon, and then what's the other one? I don't remember. Vesperion? Yes! Razor Leaf. <laughs> I'm going to use Razor Leaf. Um, baby's going to use Sizzly Slide. So someone asked um, earlier if you can evolve the starters. Did we, we didn't answer that, did we? We can. You cannot evolve the starters. You can't. You, like, just, just as you could not evolve Pikachu in Pokemon Yellow... You can't evolve Eevee in this. They just won't they let They just you. don't want to. You can catch other Eevees and other Pikachus, but yeah. your your 
Your your friend does not want to be evolved. Yeah, so actually, isn't You're that... You're probably going to want to change Pokemon. Ooh, fuzzy boy. Oh, yeah, I'm going to want to change I've two different that. water type Pokemons in here, so... Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll pick a good watery one. Here comes a good watery one. <laughs> um, what? Wait. Uh, Omastar is my water guy. Oh, yeah, Omastar. Omastar sucks. No, it's good. No, Omastar's cool. Look at that hydro pump. Weird math. Weird math. <laughs> Go, weird math. Yeah, I'm weird. It's kind of not fair that we're getting to just, like, double rip this guy. Yeah, it's a little not fair. We're dub punking him. Uh, I right. want you to be able to use your move. So I'm going to use a useless item. An item. All right, Omastar is going to totally own the star. Baby Omastar, says uh, Metagloria. Good joke. I know. I got it. I got that that was a prince joke. <laughs> Did you know Baby I'm a Star loops perfectly? Which move should I use? Uh, Use Hydro Pump. It's... Out of HP. this world. Get ready to get owned. Next, Spadef. I really don't know what. I'm not like a competitive Pokemon player. I really don't really know. Oh, come on! Oh, the Flareon's gonna use Dub Kick. Yeah. Good luck owning me with that, fool. Super effective at making you look stupid. Wait, did Hydro Pump not work? Yeah, it avoided the attack. Use Hydro Pump again. I hate this guy. <laughs> Alright, give me this. Or weird book. So yeah, I played this on the bus. And I gotta admit, I was very surprised when I when my bus arrived at my station. I was still playing it. And you know, you know you know, time flies when you're having fun, etc. Time actually flies when you're doing any kind of a brain activity that involves numbers going up. Not just when you're having fun. So it was uh it was pretty good to uh, just play this game on the bus and catch a bunch of Pokemons. Oh, now he's got the Vaporeon. Yeah, I'm gonna take Venusaur out again, then. Oh, Big V? Yeah, if you want to choose a different one, you can go I'm ahead. Gonna got a Pikachu. a Pikachu. I'm gonna Pikachu as a Pikachu. You're up. Alright. If you were born... In my video, I say, if you were born in June, sounds like you're a Pikachu. I don't understand what it means. That doesn't make any sense. I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to advise people who don't know which who can't decide between Pikachu and Eevee. I think you should get Eevee because Eevee is way better than Pikachu. I don't know, Pikachu is pretty classic. Pikachu, yeah. Jesus Christ. That's a strong maneuver. But you can't stop a Pikachu. Let me get this guy. Your Pikachu's gonna go first. Thunder so. Bolt, Thunder Wave, Thunder Punch. Should I do Thunder Punch? Thunder Punch it. That's got 75. Wait, doesn't Thunder Bolt have like 90? Thunder is the most powerful one. Yeah, Thunder just... Wave just um, paralyzes it. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh, I know. I've got a Pikachu. I'm living with one who's in my party constantly. Thunder Punch is good. You ever Thunder Punched someone in real life? No, I haven't. Have you ever punched anyone in real life? I slapped someone in real life. Oh, that owns. Someone in the chat asked if you love the original games, if this is going to be disappointing. Honestly? Pikachu's dead. Like, the battle and captures, the battles aren't, like, different from how they used to be. They are just easier. Um, and that might just be due to the fact that I've played a lot of Pokemon. Um, you're going to have to get a new guy. Yeah, it's not letting me get a new guy. You have to choose the new guy. Just bring me out. It's like, wow, it's assuming that because my Pokemon died that I was bad at choosing. <laughs> it like literally... <laughs> That's messed up. Yeah, okay, so this this two-player mode's a little bit weird. Yeah. Like, it is... Uh, it won't let me do most stuff, and then if my Pokemon dies, it makes you choose them for me. What should I do? Um, yeah, do Psywave. Yeah. I don't know. Get crushed. Is there any sort of a... Oh, straight owned. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, the new catching system, I think, is different enough from the original games that you'll still find some fun to have with it. If you're expecting like a hardcore Pokemon game, this is not that game. It just super is not. Um, but this trap down memory lane for me was really fun to do. 
and I really enjoyed having a chance to go back in time basically and become like the eight-year-old that I was when I first played Pokemon. So I don't, I, I mean, someone is saying, I feel if it's too easy, it'll taint my fond memories of Red and Blue. I don't think it's too easy. I think it's about, I think Pokemon was all, that Red and Blue was pretty easy to begin with. Well, all they've done is made a couple of quality of life changes. Like they let you change your Pokemon in the field, you know? You, yeah. you, you have your Pokemon box in your bag. You don't have to go all the way to a Pokemon Center to change your party around. And you're gonna have hundreds of Pokemon, but you're not even gonna use 95% of the Pokemon you catch. You're just using them for the glue factory. Yeah, um, if you liked Pokemon Go, you will probably get this game better and like it more immediately. Yeah, I see it as like training wheels for people who uh, who, who noobed their way into Pokemon Go. And, and like, let's be frank, a lot of you don't have time to for another like 60 hour game right now. So this took you what, like 20 hours? 20, 25 hours. It was nice to play. I was uh, visiting my parents, so it was like nice to play. Oh, let's get this. Let's get this girl. Um, in between doing stuff with my parents, uh, so like after dinner, I would go and play for a couple hours. All right, here we go. One, two. Oh, hell yeah! Nice. Um, and I, you know, I could fit it in in between the rest of my life, so it was kind of refreshing and nice to like not have to give up all of my life to a game. One, two, three. Oh, that's uh, uh, way long. One, two, three. No. Yeah. We got them at the same time. Got to get it. So what you're trying to do, in case anyone watching in the chat finds this inscrutable, is you throw the ball and you try to get it through the circle when the circle is as small as possible. And it's actually very nuanced motion controls. Ah. Uh. It's almost as nuanced as like the Wii Sports Resort. Oh, did mine hit first? Yeah, yours hit first, but... I'm not going to use your good Pokeballs. I'm just going to use your support trash. Yeah. All right. And you can throw to the left. Okay, that didn't actually work, though. Yeah, I have a. I find it much easier to catch Pokemon. Uh, wow, she swatted it away. She's so mean. These human-shaped Pokemon. Yeah, I find it so much easier to catch Pokemon uh, <laughs> in it, handheld mode, where it will... You can aim by using by moving the controller around or using the left Joy-Con. Yeah. That was so long. So you can't press a button to throw the Pokeball, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh my god, Jinx doesn't wanna give give Jinx a berry. Yeah. She ran away! She ran away. Well the thing is I just need to buy more of uh, the Ultra Balls. And oh yeah, someone in the chat says the grinding in this game seems to mean catching. Yeah, grinding is it's catching almost a hundred percent catching. Yeah, I mean you fight trainers as well, but catching is how you level your dudes up. Let's get this punk. Um, how snipe out. You can. There are not spawns for Omanite and Kabuto. It's just through the fossils, and you will have to pick one. What? That was too high. Too high for what? There's no such thing as too high, if you ask me. I don't know if you can ride a Snorlax. I have a Snorlax. We can try it. I love Snorlax. Okay. All right, let's do it at the same time. One, two, three. What? 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 Yeah, there's little occurrences like that kind of annoy me. All right, let me take the Snorlax out. So my favorite mount actually is Charizard. Oh, Big Char Boy. The Big Char Boy. You saw me riding the Big Char Boy. I call him Big Dog Char Baby is what I call him. <laughs> I don't have a Charizard yet, but I will because I have a Charmeleon. That's pretty much, uh, I mean, that's the first step in getting a Charizard, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think that you're correct about that. Oh, oh my god, you just hang on to him! Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> this is amazing. I love him. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Uh, see, it's like those little touches like this. They're so delightful. I just like love it. Yeah. Um. So speaking of delightful, 
again, they do their best to make me feel like a loser because I'm not involved at all. I just like am walking around on the side. Well, you're my support. You're I, not. This isn't your adventure. I think the two-player mode is a little, a little bit weird. Catching in two-player mode is really cool. That animation is so dope. Yeah, let's see if we got him though. Yeah, got we him. did. I mean, we don't really want this guy though. He's a Zubat. Is it just me or is Zubat like the worst Pokemon? Is there anybody in the chat who likes Zubat? I remember in red and blue, uh, you had Zubat. You had to fight like a million of them. Oh my god, yes. I was so. I Every time we went in a cave, it was just Zubat, 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 Zubat. God, that was so irritating. Okay, I guess I have to go down this stairwell. Oh, don't worry, I'll teleport through the uh, roof. Just and yeah, this one, too? I don't like ladders. If I could just teleport everywhere, I also would, so... Hang on. Evie's got something for me. <sighs> Evie needs to be, uh... Pet she... around a bit. Stop being afraid, Evie. It's okay. Evie's scared. So I also don't know where you get haircuts in this game. I meant to ask Fahey today. Do you know where you get haircuts? No. I was told uh, that it might be a good video to get a bunch of haircuts for my Pikachu. And I did not encounter that at all while playing the game. So I don't know where to do it. I have to ask Fahey. Perhaps he knows. Sorry, I just love... In the, in the handheld mode, you just pet the touch screen. Yeah, you just, you just rub your so finger on it. It's so sweet. It's so cute. Okay, she's good now. So our moderators have held back a message, but I'm going to read it out loud anyway. Dice Game Uchiha asks, if Evie takes a dump, do you have to embarrassingly pick it up with a doggy bag and carry it around until you get back to your apartment? Yes. Yes. Haircuts are behind the truck near the SS Ann. Oh, let's go there. How long is the main game? We're saying, what, about 20 hours? About 20 hours. Yeah, I'm about 10 hours, and uh, I'm about halfway, so kaboom. It sounds about right. Kabing, bang, boom. Yeah. God, this is why I hate this area. How do, how do I get out of here? You know, the dungeons in Pokemon are a little bit janky, in they my are. opinion. Oh, no. Pokemon just decided to surf. Yeah, well, we were in the water, so I guess Evie was doing me a solid. Pikachu, Evie, same thing. <laughs> if you ride in a Kangaskhan, do you ride in the front pouch? Why are you so afraid, Evie? Chill out. Because Evie is weaker than Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu would be like, heck yeah, buddy, let's kill everything in here. And you'd be like, that's it, friend. And then you'd just be shooting. Man, so my Pikachu, last night, there was a guy outside the Pokemon Center who said he would, uh, or no, in the Pokemon Center, and he said if I gave him 500 in-game dollars, he would sell me a machine gun. <laughs> so Did you buy it? I bought the machine gun, and now the game's an FPS. Well, that's wild. Can you imagine a Pokemon FPS? I can't. Well, there already was one. A first-person snapper. Hey, why don't we have that? Why don't we have Pokemon Snap on the Switch? I feel like I say in my, my tips video. Everybody watch my tips video. It's good. It is good. Did you see it? No, but I trust you. Oh, don't worry. It's good. Uh, I was I was excited to know if somebody had seen it. Um, I would like the, the catching Pokemon in handheld mode feels kind of like Pokemon Snap. It does a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Because you got to consider the angle a lot. I love it. God, okay, I'm just going to use a freaking... See, this is why I didn't do it. Yeah, Pokemon FPS would be like Yoshi's Safari. <laughs> Where you're, on, you're just riding on a Pokemon's back, just blasting, like shotgun blasting, like everything. Kill everything that breathes. There's enough, like... Here's the thing. When I was a kid, we used to say, shoot everything that moves. But now, in terms of Pokemon, I'm going to say, shoot everything that breathes. 
Because I want to shoot slowpokes and snorlaxes as well. You know what I mean? Because those aren't moving. That's the end of my joke. <laughs> Sorry. I was just like overwhelmed by pets. I got pet. <laughs> oh, can you ditch your starter Pokemon is a question. Uh, you can take it out of your party, but you can't ditch it. Yeah, it always stays perched. Yeah. <laughs> you just snore like a period. Get me out of the... Oh, 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 excuse me. Can I hang out? I just walk through you. Is this ghost starring Patrick Swayze? <laughs> okay, so in the truck behind and, me, uh, Anne says Anne. God, I love the Snorlax. I didn't mean to go inside that building. Oh, look at those. Look at those floors. Are those made of birch? Pretty. I kind of want to make one of these Pokemon houses in The Sims. They always have like such unique little designs. So you're looking at the graphics in this game, right? And all you're thinking is, there's going to be Animal Crossing out here. <laughs> it's going to look kind of like this, probably. I'm going to yeah, cry. I'm, I'm like actually going to cry. There is nothing going to stop me from crying. Seriously, the worst game of the year because no 60 FPS. It's got like it's got some FPS, but it ain't no 60. Uh, I just wish that my Pokemon. Hey guys, are you just leading I me just around as like a joke now? I took a joke seriously, and I just remembered that the track behind Asasan was an urban legend in uh, the. Original Pokemon game, you're supposed to move the truck behind the ass of sand and find a Mew there. Uh, I'm a big time dum dum. I think that's what the technical term is. Maybe they did put a truck behind the SSN this time, though, as a reference to the old ways. Oh, here's my friend. Oh. Sorry. Not gonna let me talk to my Ms. friend. <laughs> M, M, right word. <laughs> Thought I was just playing along. No, I was being big dumb. Oh, whoa. I was being incredibly silly. <laughs> Oh, these Pokemon's in the daycare. This is the Pokemon fan club. Pokemon fan club. Where am I? See, like I? so many of you guys were I'm like, gone. Oh, I don't know if this game's fun. I'm dead. Oh, no, there you are. I mean, I was like right there and then I just disappeared. You're back from the dead now. Is there a master trainer over here? Yeah, there is this guy, but it's for a Pokemon I don't have. I need to find the Eevee master can we, trainer. Can, can I take a look at these plushies over here? Yeah. Oh, it's Pikachu. Oh, I, can't, I can't talk to anybody either. I'm a ghost. So there's Eevee, Jiggly. Oh, well, oh man, are they going to make a third version that's Jigglypuff? They're making like Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon for the Switch, right? Yeah, they're going to make a mainline Pokemon for next year. Yeah. So it's not like you're not going to get real Pokemon. It's well, just where's like, the Ultra Moon? I don't and... think this is a bad way to tide yourself over. Well, no, but they're making Ultra Moon, Ultra Sun, which is like a remake of Mo Sun and Moon for the Switch, right? I didn't. I don't know. I haven't heard that. I believe they are. Someone let me know in the chat. Clefairy, Jigglypuff, same thing. I wonder what happens when I take Charizard out. There should be a Jigglypuff version and a Clefairy version and a Kirby version. They should make Kirby a Pokemon. <laughs> Kirby should be a Pokemon. Clefairy, Jigglypuff, exactly the same, just like Weedle and Caterpie. Oh, there we go. Big Char. Where am I? You're just <laughs> below me. Oh, God. Mother of Dragons. Oh, let me back down here. You've got a Pokemon following you, too. It's your P It's Pikachu. Freakachu? Freakachu. Yeah, he is following me. Well, I sort of have a buddy then. And you know what we always used to say? Oh, he just keeps flying up into the sky because he feels... He feels uh, intimidated by the Charizard. Yeah, it will not... Like, if I stop moving, if you stop moving, I fly up into the sky. I'm so sad. We need so haircuts. I can just fly. Oh my god! Sorry, that was really loud. Yeah. I didn't see this truck. You flew over the truck. Is that the truck behind the SSN? That's the truck behind the SSN. Holy crap. Okay, I can't go any farther than this, but... Somebody let me know where the haircuts is. Oh, I You're can't. trying to rejoin. Yeah, they're not going to let me. Are you going to press the button to, like, execute my Pikachu? Yeah, I am. Mew will travel alongside you now. What? Is that the truck? Yeah, that's the truck. I'm not able to do anything. Where's the SSN? Oh, it already left. Let's see if I can jump down here. No, I can't. 
I love the SSN. I like any video games that have boats on them. One of my, uh, my favorite ideas for a game that I have takes place on a boat. The whole game on a boat. You're a, uh... And that's the only thing there is a freaking revive. Come on. Yeah, there's a lot of... you down there. There's a lot of stuff just kind of kleptomaniacally inserted in seemingly random places all over this game. Yeah. Like, when you go to Bill's house, that's, like, a, a key example of, like, Pokemon level design. Where it's yeah. like you go up, and you go across this thing, and then you go back down, and you go under it, and then you drop down a fence. Yeah. It's just this big old wide open wildness. So what does everybody think the next real Pokemon is going to be called? I think they're going to go with an emoji. In the name. God, I just like can't get over how cute it is. It's not a serious game, but it's fun as heck. I'm sorry for killing your ears multiple times. <laughs> Yeah, it's good stuff. Oh, we're going to fly? Yeah. Let's fly. Is there anywhere you want to go in particular? Let's go to Celadon City and uh, show people the wonderful streets yeah. and the downtown beats. The wild nights. Yeah. Burn Peter the says Pokemon says feel it's all a console right. version of Pokemon Go, essentially. Thank you for your beautiful song. It's, uh, it's a console version of uh, Pokemon Red with some Pokemon Go mechanics. Yeah. And if that you're okay with that, you will have a good time with it. If you're expecting a Pokemon game. Its sensibilities have been synchronized with Pokemon Go. In that you're catching a lot of Pokemon. And you catch to grind. Because people jumping into Pokemon Go, all they really wanted was the feeling that they're catching a lot of Pokemon. So ubiquitous is the fetching phrase, gotta catch them all. That people have mistaken for the longest time that the true heart and soul of the Pokemon series is catching. Though this game also gently, gently mentors anyone new to the series by showing you it's actually about having buddies and friends, which is why they put your Eevee on your head. Because you just constantly got a buddy. You got your friends on your mind. So that's good, right? Yeah. Let me sell some shit. Yeah, get rid of some garbage. Uh, you guys want this nugget? <laughs> Somebody offered to sell me a nugget, I would be like, excuse me? Oh, is those pewter crunchies? Yeah, I'd never use them. Such a weird name for a thing. When you get full heals, you don't need that stuff. Pokemon Rock and Pokemon Roll? No, it's not gonna be that. Pokemon Blood and Pokemon Tears, I think. Pokemon uh, Mom and Pokemon Dad. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good, but they'll never release Dad. Pokemon. It should just be Pokemon Boys and Pokemon Girls. You know, this one, in all the promotional art for the Eevee version, it's a girl trainer. And in all the promotional art for the Pikachu version, it's a boy trainer. And the, the Pikachu, I started three different saves... Just to see, just to test this, the Pikachu that you get is always male. And apparently the Eevee you get is always female. Yeah. So. There's some gender essentialist stuff in here. So that's, uh, so they're basically, they've drawn a line in the sand and said boys over here, girls over there. Is what they've done. Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> gotta are, catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Pokemon. Everyone just believes. Wait, is your Pikachu female? Mine, mine was male like three times in a row. Um, my Pikachu that I have right now is female. Well, I mean the the starter Pikachu. You mean starter Eevee? I'm pretty sure. Well, it's my star my starter Pikachu was male. Every time I I rerolled. The apparent gender chance rate for starters is 75% male, 25% female. Huh. That sounds like uh. Something you're making up based on me saying three times and one time. But if it's true, I wouldn't disbelieve it. <laughs> let me get, let me check real quick what gender... And someone has asked again, do you always yeah, have to have your girl. Eevee and Pikachu with you? Yes, you have to. They're stuck with you. I like the boy trainer. He's real cute. He's got very determined eyebrows. Yeah, he looks like he's uh, really wants to do some stuff. Are you okay? He's got ants in his pants. 
Uh, is there? Can we possibly buy uh, an ex- a pants exterminator to get these pants <laughs> out of my pants? Can we buy some bug spray to just let loose under my waistband <laughs> to get these ants the heck out of my pants? I mean, I think I need some too. Wait, can we go to the video game store? Yeah, let's go up there. Oh, I'm not allowed. <laughs> you but just wait tell, for just me. teleport me in. I've stayed. I stayed downstairs. <laughs> Pokemon salsa, Pokemon guacamole. That's very good. Mm, that sounds delicious. I haven't had lunch yet. I'm really hungry. Oh, I haven't had any food because I feel really, really... My chest hurts. Oh, God, my chest. Yeah, this is kind of... This kind of feels like a Japanese department store with just all the floors and uh, different stuff. Look at that yeah. switch. All the switches are red and blue. They look so good. Nintendo is so lazy about releasing new Joy-Con colors that they can't even... Uh, Not even in the Pokemon world. I mean, there are multiple Joy-Con colors in the world, in real life. He's got a Jolteon. Yeah, he's a master trainer. I mean, a Volteon. Oh, look at these little baby children. This kid collects Haunter. Because he's an idiot. <laughs> Pokemon Dungeon and Pokemon Digimon? Oh, <laughs> Pokemon Pokemon and Pokemon Digimon. Yeah, that sounds good. Did you read uh, Charles's post on Gizmodo about why they should stop putting... <laughs> putting who? Uh, stop putting Digimon and Pokemon. Oh, yeah, that's funny. I remember that. This is pretty good. You don't, you don't have any time for a role-playing game. I know. I don't like when a game... Uh, you know what I don't like? I don't like any of the ads on the New York subway. Yeah. Because they're all so insulting. Oh, if you look, there's um, ads for Pokemon Quest down here. Oh, no. Don't do it. But it's like, I don't like that this game is telling me that I'm playing it. It's like making fun of me for playing a time-consuming video game. Yeah. I you know the like, least York. favorite subway ads are the subway ads for hymns. Hymns are bad. God. Five, Fiverr is the worst. Fiverr makes me, like, It's like flat out, insulting. flat out insulting. Yeah. There was one for a moving... It's all startups, and I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what it is. Tell me what it is. It's startups uh, or, or small companies or app developers who don't hire an actual advertising agency because there's some guy there who's like, I've seen a couple episodes of Mad Men. I can come up with a, a commercial. I can come up with a slogan. And it's like, no, you can't. <laughs> like, you're not supposed to ever accentuate any negativity. You're not supposed to insult the customer because they don't know you. You don't know them. You don't just jump out there and go, ugh. Okay, there was an ad for a moving company, Mm -hmm. right? That was like, now you can move without the Xanax. And it's like, what? Are you just saying that your customers are people who are taking Xanax? And that you're going to say, that's like a really bad example. That's like an egregious example. But yeah, New York subway ads, that's what it is. Yeah, New York subway ads are, you're stupid. Oh, all the Jared Fogel ads. Stuff. Jared Fogel, uh, they are the worst subway ads now that I think about it. Good joke. <laughs> you know, I went to high school with Jared Fogel. I've I did t- not know that. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm guessing somebody in the chat knows. But you didn't know that. I did. Yeah. He lived next door. He lived in my friend's apartment building at Indiana University. You know why he went to that subway? Because he just didn't know how to cook. And... It was right downstairs. Yeah, he, he lost all the weight on accident, is what I'm saying. That makes sense to me. Me and Jared were the two fattest kids in our high school. Really? Yeah. I started swimming. That's enough of that story. <laughs> I mean, he was like my brother's best friend. No, I'm going to not tell any more of this story. Yeah, don't do it. You want to hear me talk more about Jared Fogel? PayPal my Patreon. I don't have a Patreon. Pokemon Seamless and Pokemon Left. <laughs> Ooh, this is good. See, this is good because this is like your typical Japanese department store roof. And I remember when I first went to a Japanese department store, I went to the Seibu store in Ikebukuro in Japan, and it has a roof like this, and it has a chain link fence around it, and vending machines, and there's like a little toy train for kids to ride on. And if anybody wants to watch an excellent film... I'm pausing dramatically to let you all know. This is an excellent film to watch. Watch the film Tokyo Story. Yeah? Which has a scene on a roof of a department store in Ikebukuro. 
and it was shot there in the in the 50s so it's uh, very authentic and cool looking this is just like such a a staple nostalgic sentimental image they still have these all over japan the world of pokemon is just japan i mean look at that vending machine that's uh actually it does kind of look like a costco vending machine because it's got the window but i believe they're like sample products sitting on the shelf not the real things so yeah you can watch uh tokyo story and all the films by yasujiro ozu on filmstruck it's all part of the Criterion Collection. Filmstruck is going away. I was about to say. Like this weekend? November 29th, actually. Okay. So you have two weeks. If you have Filmstruck, if you don't have Filmstruck, it's probably too late to get on there. I don't know if they'll even let you join because it's less than a month away from closing. But if you do have Filmstruck and you haven't watched the film Tokyo Story, which is considered one of the greatest films of all time by a lot of people, check it out. If you want another film recommendation that will make you feel sort of like you're in Pokemon world. Watch the films of, of uh, Edward Yang. There's a film called Yi Yi, which is a very, very, it's about Taiwan, which uh, has a very Japanese architectural influence. You get a lot of this. I remember watching it and being like, it looks like Pokemon City. Wow. And also, he has a film called A Brighter Summer Day, which is one of my favorite films of all time. And those are both also on Filmstruck. So if you haven't seen those, check them out. They actually have more than a slightly tenuous connection to Pokemon. So enjoy. I would love to watch those movies. I really need to watch Tokyo Story. I've Tokyo Story is legit. It, like for a while, you know how there's always the what's the best film of all time debate. You know. Yeah. There's always that sort of weird debate, and then it was like Citizen Kane for the there, my guy comes teleporting out of the sky again. They just don't want me to feel like I'm actually here. Uh, yeah, for some reason, Tokyo Story like just jumped over Citizen Kane for a couple of years. Really? I don't understand how it works. It's just because people like to say different stuff. For a while, they tried to just say the same stuff. Snorlax? Yeah, baby. Okay, let's try this. Let's kill him. <laughs> yeah, Chunking Express is also on film. Chunking Struck, Express is really it, good. It's okay. I mean, it's good. It's one of those great movies that you can watch. But uh, I would recommend Edward Yang's films over that one. Now, Brighter Summer Day is four hours long. Did my guy teleport out? He teleported out of the world when I started this Master Trainer battle. Master Trainer battle. There you go. Seriously? He's just going to not be here? Yeah. Oh, what a disaster. God, Snorlax is so cute, though. Did you see that meme that was like, it took Snorlax a decade to stand up? That's funny. Yeah, it did though. I'm going to eat shit. This sucks. Are you going to yawn? Whoop, oh, there we go. Crikey. I have to level up. Uh, yeah, Dongs McKenzie, level, uh, player two does appear to be a ghost. Yeah, player two is, uh, he's not welcome here in this human world. Wait, Dongs McKenzie, are you my brother? It seems like the kind of screen name my little brother would have. Let me know. Serious questions, not not a joke question. My little brother loves Pokemon. Yeah? Yeah, he is. Yeah, okay, I knew that was you. How you doing, buddy? Hey, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> this is so cute. Um, yeah, my little brother loves Pokemon. And as I was telling you yesterday in person, and I, I meant to incorporate this into a video somehow and just... You know, when you're writing a video script, you're like, I gotta read all this. I gotta edit a video about this. So it's, uh... Oh, man. I wanted to... You're there. You're there. You Am have I? a oh, I'm, I'm on screen. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, my little brother loved Pokemon, but I was like 19 when Pokemon first came out. And someone actually on my YouTube video that I did about this game a couple of days ago, uh, someone had commented, which is, uh... Someone had commented to ask what was it like liking or like playing Pokemon as like a 19 year old when it first came out because I was only nine and I was like oh interesting question because I mean I was kind of a weirdo because I liked RPGs you know I liked Final Fantasy I loved Dragon Warrior I read the video game magazines I read books okay I read books I was in college 
when this game came out. And I was uh, thus in a place where everyone was fascinated with the idea of getting drunk and uh, yelling at people on the street and uh, pushing cars over, punching cows. I was in Indiana. They were just all obsessed with that kind of stuff. And thus, I did not ever have the link cable experience. You know? Yeah. I never had the link cable experience, but I did play Pokemon Red all the way through. But my little brother played Pokemon Red, and he had Pokemon Blue, so that he could trade in the starter Pokemons, uh, and start up three different quests, and get all three starters in, in there. And uh, he just went to wild lengths. I was actually saying the other day, and this actually, I've confirmed, everyone's joking about being my brother. That actually is my brother. So he actually is. So he actually is my brother. And then someone assumes, buy your nephew a Switch, you have the cash. Lord, you don't know about my cash, buddy. Yeah, I, living in New York is a, is live, a whole thing. I live in New York and I get paid what is, I assume, a generous salary. But I wouldn't know because I don't see most of it most of the time. Yeah. Because New York eats it. It just eats money. Yeah. If I were living, for example, in Indiana, I would be I would be doing very well. Oh yeah, when I lived in Chicago, I had so much extra cash. Yeah. Did you uh, Did you work here from Chicago? Yeah, for like about for, a month. Yeah. Oh man, but no, got to be in New York. You know, it's the city that doesn't sleep. Yeah. Because people are always yelling outside. Yeah. God, Queens is gonna just be destroyed when Amazon moves in there. I'm like, I, not I know that happy my little, it. I know that my little brother, you ended up with your own copy of Red, but you did use my copy of Red to copy your Pokemon over. Yeah, I'm walking here, but yeah. So I never got like the Link Cable experience of battling my bros, and the game is like, this game is built for battling Pokemon, right? It's like built yeah. for you to build a crew and then battle against somebody. It's like I never had that. Yeah, I also uh, I was at private school, so there was only like 10, 20 people total in our class. Yeah. Uh, so I also did I, not have a, a link cable experience because there just weren't enough kids who were also a, like a little bit nerdy. I remember reading about Pokemon in the video game magazine, and it was like kids are playing this at their schools in Japan and they're just loving it and they're going I need to change my Pokemon yeah you do I'll, uh, I'll flip him out of here they were like kids are going wild they're battling and trading Pokemon at lunch and teachers are yelling teachers hate it you know like whatever no I don't should have... I fight fire with fire <laughs> it's not gonna work what about well. Mew yeah use Mew let's put Mew in there. when in doubt Mew it out that's what they say um, so yeah, like, I remember being like, wow, that sounds so cool. But it was like a total fairy story. It was a fantasy story to me as a 16-year-old that someday I would, uh, someday soon I would be able to just, like, play video games as a chill, natural thing with, like, other people out on the street. You know, we still sort of don't totally have that outside of childhood, but what if there were a video game of some sort that people just, like, it was like a highly competitive, like tough game, some sort of Magic the Gathering thing on phones that like cool people played and would just challenge each other in Starbucks. You don't have that. But that was like this fantasy that was born in my mind when I first heard about Pokemon. And then my little brother got it and he was playing it. Little brother, did you play it at school? I just want to know. So let me know in the chat if you played it at school. If like kids at school played it or like friends played it. Because it's like that just would have never happened during my childhood. Where you'd get like laughed at for having ever touched a computer. Yeah. I was definitely the only girl in my private school that was into video games. And so that made me sort of an outcast. And I didn't have very many friends. Which sucked. Yeah. Um, I didn't get, like, beat up for liking nerdy things, but it was definitely, like, I was really weird. People thought I was really weird. I got beat up for, uh, just boring stuff. Yeah. I, I, I tried to not be weird. Oh, wow, is he gonna war turtle us? Please, would you have a battle with my babies? Uh, yeah, one sec. What? There we go. <laughs> now I will. Uh, please, would you have a battle with my babies? 
Oh, yeah, they only played it during honors recess. Honors recess? Honors recess? That's wild. My little brother is uh, he's eight years younger than me. I'm 39 years old. Should get the uh, Pikachu out there. Should I go to Indianapolis, Indiana for Thanksgiving? Let me know in the chat. Anybody in the chat, just let me know. Do you want to go all the way to Indiana for Thanksgiving? I mean... I've, I've skipped Thanksgiving more than once. What else would I do, though, is the real question. You can eat. You just hang out for a day. Man, it's like normal. You just have to make sure to get food before Thanksgiving. I'm because assuming nothing these guys will are... be open on Thanksgiving. Well, yeah, but I mean also, you know, why not go somewhere, right? Yeah, true. I've skipped it a couple times. I would. I could take a train. When I was in college in Ohio, I skipped it. Oh, this guy got blasted. Yeah, he did. For a war turtle, he sure got blast toised. Yeah, I'm going back to Connecticut. I was thinking about not going, but then my dad had out of surgery, so gotta hang out with the fam. Oh, my mom says she's not cooking anything. The chat is scrolling so wildly that we can't we can't keep up with it. But my mom is not is cooking for nobody, even though. Yeah, my brother just got married. <coughs> Clint, did you see the episode of uh, me and Gita Jackson's show where I said congratulations for your wedding and explained why I wasn't there? <laughs> <laughs> Because that was definitely uh, yeah that came up. Wait, what should I kill with this 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 idiot with? Um, I don't like this guy. He's stupid. He's a bunch of screws and magnets. I know this is the beginning of the end. This design is like a harbinger of things to come. Pile of trash. Uh, I want to bring out Mew. Yeah, you want to do Mew again? When in doubt, Mew it out. <laughs> when in doubt, Mew it out. It was like the one. Uh, Tim's brother. It was like either the last one or the one before. And it's right in the beginning, so you'll be able to tell which one. Just go to the Kotaku XP uh, YouTube playlist. It's like the one from the week of your wedding. That's the one it is. <laughs> it's, it's that one. Congratulations. Basically, I do say congratulations. I, uh, I, I, I basically, the reason was uh, I forgot what week it was. And then the airplane tickets were like $900, and I did not have $900. So you don't need to watch the whole episode to hear that. Maybe the airplane tickets to Indianapolis are not $900 for next week. What? Looks like Snorlax, gonna, Snorlax is going to be the one to sleep forever. That's all right. I'll take out Venusaur again. How good would this Pokemon be for playing through with your t six-year-old daughter? Perfect. Well, I'm Absolutely my, perfect. I am my own six-year-old daughter, and let me tell you, I'm having a good time. Uh, and we got Mike Fahey on the Kotaku.com talking he about playing it with a child. A like super beautiful article about playing it with his son Seamus, and it made me cry. And it was like the first game they got a chance to play together, and they really like connected with each other. I read the article and I didn't cry because I have muscles, <laughs> and I talk why? like this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm like that sounds cool. If I had a little buddy, that's what I would call my child. I would call my child my little buddy. That makes sense to me. And I would name my child Pikachu. That's what I would name my child. Yeah, I think you should do that. So wait, you don't have a Switch, Clint? You don't have one in your house? Your little brother or your little, your little baby doesn't have one? You're getting him one for Christmas. It is the ultimate toy. I can't imagine what it would be like. Like, for, like, my own experience as a nine-year-old, which I unfortunately remember every day of, um, if I'd had one of these Nintendo Switches at that point, I would have just gone wild. There are so many good games on this thing, and this Pokemon is so cool because you're playing it on a TV, and then you can also just play it on the bus, playing it on the sofa while watching TV on the TV. It's truly, truly bonkers. It is bonkers. And it just makes me want uh, something like Dragon Quest Builders 2, uh, which is coming out in three weeks in Japan. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. I kind of liked Dragon Quest Builders, but I only played it because Jason made us play it for Game Games of the, of the year. year. Yeah. For the goaties. He was, like, very insistent that we played it. That Was was that last year? Yeah. It was it last year or two years ago. Yeah. I, uh, I'm going to play the second one in a couple of weeks because... I'm going to buy it off the eShop in Japanese. And I'm going to just chill with it. It's not 60 FPS, I don't think, on the Switch. 
I don't think it's 60, but I love that 60. I love that 60. Oh my god, he hit me with a bone. That's awful. Do you Don't hear do that this. sound? That violent sound? Mr. Rightward, he made us play, or he made them play, Dragon Quest Builders. Which I haven't played. Or, I mean, which I didn't have to play, because I already had played it. Kaboom. Love DQ Builders. I should, I mean, I, isn't it out on Switch now? I should just get it. Oh yeah, it's out on Switch, like, like wildly out on Switch. I should just get it. And play it over the weekend. Do you have one of them SD cards? Yeah, uh, yeah. If you were, for example, buying a Nintendo Switch for a seven-year-old child for Christmas, or if you really wanted to and then someone else bought one, a good gift would be a 256 gigabyte SD card. That is true. You're going to run out of space so quickly. Mine is, uh, mine is not even halfway full, and it has like 75 games on it. It's incredible. Let's catch this big boy. I have so many sweet games. I'm just gonna go use my Ultra Balls, not my Master Ball, on a Pidgeot. Not gonna do that. We're gonna get every one of these regular one. balls. Right? I don't care, I'm going. You're just doing it? Yeah, I'm going. I'm going now. Yeah, if you were buying your child, a, your seven year old child, a Nintendo Switch, you should also get a Dragon Quest Builders. We timed that badly. Shouldn't that be, like, sort of strong? Okay, no. No, okay. All right, we're going to have to do this together. It's hard because we have these micro... Hold on, let me put it in my left hand. Okay. Okay, One, ready? two, three. Wait, he moved. I was moving... It. Whatever. Okay. One, two, three. No. Oh. We got to get it through the circle. Yeah. Okay, let's wait for him to stop moving. He's not. He's going to stop. He will stop. There we go. He stopped. Okay, here it comes. Now. Oh, yes. That was beautiful. Die, filthy bird. Rat of the sky, become mine. Oh, come on! Curse you. <laughs> <laughs> My throat hurts so bad. I can't talk like a normal person right now. All right. Uh, Let's try this one more time. <laughs> I gotta go home, I think. Here. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, Let's try it one more time. Is that a master ball? It's an ultra ball. Is that a big boy ball? Go. No. Nope. Anyway. That was that was horrendous. That was pretty bad. And go. Yeah. What? We did it exactly at the same time. You Mine. can't see us, but I swear to God, we actually did it at the same time. Mine wasn't straight. <laughs> yeah, dude. Put put DQ builders on that list for your uh, your child's. But no, here's what I'm saying. I'm, get get like eShop cards, and get an SD card, because you don't want to. You don't want to have a have a little uh, seven year old kid fiddling around with those tiny little switch cartridges. They're just waiting to get lost. I'm no parent. I'm no parent, but I'm a huge baby who keeps my house weirdly I clean. I space on my switch so quickly. Yeah, so this is what I'm saying: get an SD card and then get your games digital, dude. Yeah. Get an SD card and a bunch of Nintendo eShop points, and then buy them digital. Load them up for him. If if I were nine years old and my parents gave me a Nintendo Switch with, like, Super Mario Odyssey, you gotta put Super Mario Odyssey on that list. Oh, Super Mario Odyssey, that kid is going to lose her mind. They will love it. Yeah, at age seven, uh, I loved Mario 2 so much. Like, and at age 10, I was going wild on Mario 3. I'm telling you. This guy wants us to be a rebel. So yeah, getting uh, getting those Switch eShop cards and uh, micro SD that's 256 gigabytes, that's the way to do it. That would be the best Christmas ever for a child. Just look at all these games you got, punk. Except maybe you don't want too many games. I don't know what to do with games most of the uh, time. You should use Glitzy Glow or Sparkly Swirl, I think. Let's get sparkly. I get to control, baby. I yeah. believe this is our final battle here. Yeah, I think so. Let's let's beat up this punk. <clears throat> oh wow! Can, can someone asks? Okay, and this is this is the final point I want to uh, evangelize here. Odyssey is pretty tough. Can eight-year-old kids play 3D platformers? Dude, I beat Metroid when I was eight years old. Okay, 
and beat the original Zelda when I was eight years old. Those games are wild. Those games don't tell you what to do in the same Those way that games tell you what to do. Super right. Mario Odyssey is just so joyful and simple. It's incredible. It's it's just, I mean, it's been a year. People haven't really assessed it so much. Uh, I think we don't put enough faith in the, the youth, the ooh. youths right now. So I, I, you know, if I as a child had the ability to memorize the hometowns, birth dates, and blood types of all my favorite boy band members. I absolutely had the ability to play a really like nitty gritty RPG that was really long. Heck yeah. I had all the abilities, I was just focusing it in the wrong area. Let's leave it on this guy. Let's just stare at this yeah. guy for a minute. I love him. This is this is where we're gonna end it today. We're gonna end it with we have humiliated a punk. <laughs> Well, if you're about to buy this game and want tips, uh, literally as soon as I finish the stream, I will be posting my tips post. With oh, that's in uh, uh, two minutes ago. Tim's uh, tips video. Thank tips you video. so much for uh, tuning in. It was a pleasure. Yes. And the next time you hear me, uh, <clears throat> my throat will probably feel better. I'll be talking <laughs> normal. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. Anyway, yes, kids can play 3D games, video games forever. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. Love you guys. Bye. I would have gone wild for Super Mario Odyssey if I were eight years old. When I were eight years old, I would have played the heck out of that game. It's like perfectly structured, like for me at age eight. I'm not even kidding. Bye. Bye.